Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to look at some Nuno Bittencourt style open string hammer-ons. So this is a kind of a unique sound to him. He does a lot of this during his rhythm work and then during his solo work as well. You can create a cool effect. Uh, first thing first, you want to grab the tab so you can follow along easily. So you'll be able to get that from a link in the description or right here. Uh, just click in this little grab the tab box. So once you have that, first thing you need to do is take your picking hand and mute the strings close to the bridge here. This is a heavily palm muted effect. It makes the notes pop out. It also helps keep the strings in control and not ringing out loud because of all the open string stuff that's going on. All right, so the effect is this. Because of the palm muting, the position that your hand has to be in to lay across like that, it's more comfortable just to hit everything with an upstroke. So that's what he does. The only notes that are picked, which are the open strings, are up, all upstrokes. So we're gonna pick, start here with the, the first pattern. We're gonna start the low E string upstroke, and then hammer on with your first finger, the third fret, then the fifth fret. All right, so that's the first half of the lick. And then you're gonna come over to the fifth string, hit that string open with an upstroke as well, hammer on the second fret, and then the fifth fret. So it has a kind of a combination of a melodic yet rhythmic effect to it. So if you get the palm reading right, it starts sounding pretty cool if you start repeating it. All right. So then from there, we're just going to start taking it up to scale like he usually does. So I start with just doing what I just did right there four times. And then we start the actual run going up, which starts with the... Uh, the six notes we just learned at first. Then hop up to the fifth fret, open string uh, on the A string, hammer on five, seven, then the same thing on the D string. All right, now the same thing on the D and the G strings. All right, and then we're gonna finish this off by going G string open, seven, nine, hammer on and then B string open, and then 8, 10 hammer on. All right, so when it starts putting it together, it sounds like these notes just kind of come out of nowhere. All right, so then we're gonna start doing this little thing on just a single, single string, so it makes it a little bit easier. At first, it's gonna do uh, 0, 8, 10, four times. All right, now then uh, seven, I mean zero, seven, ten. Now feel free to kind of lighten up the uh, palm meeting if you want here. All right, now we're gonna finish this up by going down to the fifth fret, doing the same thing, five, seven, zero, five, seven, and then four, seven. So if you've ever run across, you know, anything in Nuno Bittencourt's playing, you're like, what is, what is that sound? A lot of it has to do something to do with that. He's just throwing those open strings in there keeps it kind of unpredictable. And the muted sound, it's got these notes that are just popping out from you that, that are a big distance apart because of the open string and then they're fingered way up high. So it's a really cool effect. And you can move this, take this kind of lick and just move it anywhere and just create these melodic sequences. All right. So I hope you guys have fun with it. I'll be back soon with another Lick of the Week for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye-bye.